Well, hello YouTube. Here we are, a little bit of a video. Well, of course, so uh, about a year now, you've seen us do the out with the old, uh, in with the new video on the 2015 GMC Canyon. As well as you've seen us do a video on the unwanted uh, dealer um, accessory that was installed, um, i.e. the chip that was in the paint right from day one. Now, of course, uh, to be expected when you have a new body style of a vehicle, you're going to have some few uh, cosmetic things show up as well as, you know, some uh, recalls, just, you know, the automaker being uh, safe, you know, trying to um, prevent, you know, lawsuits and things like that. Well, of course, the truck itself is doing uh, very, very well. Uh, it hasn't uh, pulled a trailer yet, but uh, in terms of being a car, a commuter, it's uh, it's done well all winter. Well, the uh, point of this video here is I have a little bit of a cosmetic uh, thing going on with the front bumper of the truck. Uh, no, it's not the gray uh, paint peeling. If you guys can uh, see here, in the chrome, um, the chrome itself is actually coming away from the uh, plastic. Uh, no, it is not the 3M film that is uh, coming off the plastic. It's actually the chrome. So, of course, let's uh, take this down to the dealership, uh, see what they say about, uh, well, the whole process. And, uh, well, really, around and around we go. Okay, guys, so here we go. A little bit of a update on the whole uh, chrome peeling on the truck situation. Well, with a little bit of back and forth with the uh, dealership, uh, you know, obviously I was dealing with the wrong person for the last, uh, well, you know, couple of months or so. The other person I was dealing with uh, didn't seem to know what was going on, what to do. Uh, they might have been a new staff, they might have been old staff that was on their way out. Uh, they might have been somebody that just plain didn't didn't care. So of course it was in uh, getting uh, service the last time here and I talked to the actual service manager and uh, while well, one thing leads to another and I said hey you know what about that chrome piece what kind of progress are you making because you know sometimes you got to order it out of the states or it's got to come from China or I don't know they got to go find it off a brand new truck or whatever they do to get these you know parts that seem to take forever to get here and of course the service manager goes to my uh, you know my my file at their dealership and apparently nothing was even ever started so this guy that I've been spending the last uh, you know two and a half or so months going back and forth to um, wasn't even recording it so I don't know if this guy got in trouble or if he got fired now or if he got spoke to or what you know hopefully I didn't make him lose his job because well in this economy right but at the same time, if you're not doing your job properly, there's others that will gladly have that position. So, of course, uh, got me a call from the dealership. Apparently, I have an appointment uh, today to take this truck on down to get it looked at. I'm going to probably run it through the uh, car wash here, cleaner on up. You know, it's I could take it to them dirty because really they're only working on the front, well, little nose piece there. But... It's kind of a pride thing, you know, you got a brand new truck here, you want to make it look good, so pretty much uh, let's run her on down, clean her on up, take her on through. Hopefully we get some uh, satisfaction in the whole thing, and then away we go. Of course, got back from the dealership a little bit ago. After a bit of uh, back and forth, we were able to come to an agreement on uh, the Chrome. I kind of wanted to do or take this opportunity to do a custom touch to the front end of the truck however the um, dealership would not um, do that at this time I wanted them to change out the uh, chrome piece for a painted piece however of course they um, they would not do that so I guess it is what it is they were able to obviously honor their warranty 
they did change out the uh, peeling chrome didn't really cause well too much sleepless nights it was uh, good to go I'm not much for chrome on the front of your vehicle for me anyway I would like to do a custom touch in the future I just thought maybe well they had that piece off and putting the new one on you know we could meet halfway or or so on the paint costs and I get it painted before it went back on but I guess that's not the way it was supposed to go this time around so of course anytime you ever have a warranty issue on a new vehicle make sure you immediately take it to the dealership however small or large it may be time is always of essence when you're dealing with warranty sometimes uh, some warranty issues they will deny or at least deny several times before finally giving in and owning up to their um, what is what they call their warranty sometimes you got a phone head office sometimes you do got to be a little bit forceful but at the same time a lot of these guys are just following their own uh, playbook what their boss tells them to do and if they drag their heels a lot of people will go somewhere else and pay and have it fixed out of their own pocket and it saves the dealership money but pretty much guys we got it all done she's all good for another round you know get the chrome fixed brand new truck you don't want it looking like crap before the end of the year and around around we go and as always thanks for watching maxwell's world comment subscribe and enjoy